welcome back to Clean Food Maintenance. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some omelets. Now, uh, there's any number of ingredients you can add to omelets, however you like it. Bacon, ham, you know. Uh, today I'm going to be using mushrooms, some fresh mushrooms. And, uh, of course, your omelet's only going to be as good as your uh, ingredients. And uh, it's, not, it's not too difficult, but I like some fresh mushrooms. Fry them in a little butter, and that gives them a really good flavor. And uh, I'm going to be using a little garlic, a little onions. Um, you know, it's not too complicated here, but just um, fry them up with a little garlic. That'll give it a really good flavor. And, uh, and do a little snack attack. Also got some fresh green onions, some garlic, some fresh tomatoes from the garden. The, these green onions are from my garden, and uh, and the tomatoes from the garden as well. So it's kind of fun to make something that's kind of fresh, uh, a little bit, you know, grown at home. So it's kind of neat. With uh, certain items, you know, like garlic, you can uh, fry it, and that gives it a different flavor. But with the green onions and the tomato, you mostly want them not cooked, so I'm just going to throw them in at the last. And you may know this already, but many foods actually hold much more nutritional value when they're raw. Sometimes when you cook them, it takes uh, a lot of the nutrients out, so that's why it's good to have some fresh vegetables added to, um, you know, what you cook. And also it has a much different flavor. Like, Sometimes uh, a raw onion has a much different flavor than, uh, you know, cooked onion. So it just depends on what flavor you're going for. Okay, so now I'm going to mince up some garlic. Garlic is very pungent, adds a lot of flavor. Again, a lot of antioxidant value in garlic. Um, you know, some of it gets cooked out when you cook it, but it just adds such a good flavor. It makes the whole house smell good. It, you know, in my opinion, one of the best incenses, definitely food. Food is like my favorite incense because, you know, you could eat it too. Anyway, what we'll do is cut open the garlic here. And then just take off all the shell parts. And that's what we can mince up. It's good for the blood. Definitely helps fight off different stuff. So helps keep you from getting sick. I think that's kind of why the folklore of uh, vampires being allergic to garlic is kind of like there's pathogens to the blood, and the garlic actually helps uh, keep those good nutrients in there to kind of ward off, you know, <laughs> the vampires that would suck the life from you. That's kind of my theory on the folklore, but, you know, there may be a bit more to it than that. Or there may be nothing more to it than that. Anyway, I like a lot of garlic. Here's a fresh clove. I'm just kind of taking the paper off. A couple of nice big cloves here. There we go. And a tiny bit of uh, uncooked garlic thrown in at the last second, a little bit, you know, again, can help keep those nutritional values. And uh, but garlic just makes such a good flavoring when it's cooking. It just makes everything smell good. Like toasted garlic is just, in my opinion, some people are out there probably going, no, but you know, everybody's different on your taste, what you like. I'm definitely a, a garlic fan, so what can I say? Alright, these, once we get situated, we'll just slice them up and mince the garlic. And that's going to just add a lot of good flavor to our omelet. 
this will fry up together with the butter and the uh, the mushrooms. You really want all of your ingredients ready to go before you start the egg portion of the omelet because once you cook the egg portion you're going to cook the uh, egg and then put your ingredients inside. So you pretty much want it to be ready, ready to go because you don't have any time once the omelet's uh, going. Okay, so here we go. Going to add some butter to our pan. I've got one pan I'm going to use for the omelets, one pan for the ingredients. And uh, using fresh butter. And we're just going to take some butter off here. Put it in the pan. And that's where we're going to fry up our garlic. Light. Yeah, we're gonna turn it down to about medium heat, and we're gonna fry up the mushroom and garlic. Butter going. Let that coat the pan a little bit first. the mushrooms first. And I'm going to be making like three omelets, so that's why I've got the quantity of ingredients I have here. I'm going to do a mushroom, garlic, onion, and cheese. I'm actually going to be using for the onions, going to be going with fresh onions, not cooked onions, uh, because the cooked onion has in my opinion more of a dinner flavor and I just want a little bit of the raw onion um, for the omelet and the other thing that the raw onion does is it gives it a bit of a crunch so the the uh, crunch is also a nice feature uh, in the omelet because then you've got different textures going and uh, anyway we'll just lightly fry these up and that really going to bring out the flavor of the garlic and the flavor of the mushrooms going to make our omelets delicious and if you want to you can throw in a little ham or a little bacon into the omelet i'm um, actually this one's going to be just vegetarian style but i am going to be uh, adding some tomato to one of them and it depends if you've got different family members sometimes like different stuff in the omelet so uh, it's kind of nice that you can mix it up a little bit make it different depending on what you put in um, while that's frying up, I can go ahead and slice up some of the green onions. I'm going to wait on the tomatoes. Do those last so they're nice and fresh. And this is uh, the green onions fresh from the garden. He was able to just cut off yesterday and uh, wash them and all. Made them ready. This will add a little color in the omelet, a little crunch. Just make it good. This has just kind of a light flavor. The green onion is, is very light. As you get more and more towards the white part or the root, it gets a little bit more uh, of the bitter flavor. And as you get more into the green portion, it's a little bit more of a light onion flavor. Very, very light. Alright. Go ahead and stir my fried mushrooms. Oh, oh it's smelling good. Again, they just develop quite a nice flavor. And uh, frying them with the garlic allows the mushroom to actually absorb a little bit of the garlic flavor. Just makes it good. I'm going to go ahead and turn my vent on here. Just on low. That way I don't smoke up the house. But, uh, I'm 
Now you can see our garlic's getting a little toasted. Again, that toasted garlic has just a really nice flavor to go in with the, uh, the omelets. All right. And that's looking pretty good there. I'm going to start to, I'm just going to bring it together so it holds the heat in and then just move it off the flame. Turn it, yeah, turn it off. There we go. here and that'll keep it warm. We can put a cover on it too. Okay, I'll just kind of move it to the center and then I've got a small cover I'll put on it just to keep it warm until we're ready. There we go. And a small pot cover so that work just right. Okay, got just a little bit of white onion again to give it that crunch and uh, give it flavor. And not too much that it's overpowering. So we're just going to mix it in and uh, it'll go good. Again, it gives it little bursts of uh, pungent onion flavor. So that should work good. And I'm going to be making one of them no tomato and one of the rest with tomato. Okay, now for mixing up the omelets, what we're going to want is two eggs. I'm just going to crack them in the bowl. I'm going to add a little bit of water, about two tablespoons of water. And a little salt and pepper. Some people like to add a little Tabasco. I actually don't. I'm just going to, so I'm just going to be going salt and pepper. But it's uh, different options. Whatever you like. Salt, a pepper, there we go, and then a little bit of water. And it's just about two tablespoons, but it's not uh, critical there, the amount. Okay, and we'll beat these up real good. One other option is to add a little bit of oregano with the uh, mushrooms, but you know, it's not critical. It just a little more flavor, some basil works as well, but you know, it's up to you. Okay, now for the eggs, we're going to turn up the heat to uh, I'm gonna light it first. Now we're going to turn it down to about a medium heat. And we're going to let the butter melt and coat. That's going to give us our, keep it from sticking to the pan. Onion and our green onion ready, and our mushroom mixture ready. While that's going, I can go ahead and clean up some of the other things that I'm done with. So I've got enough mushrooms going. Plastic bag sometimes works good over these. Sometimes need two of them. Depends on how the package is open. So depends on how your bag is cooperating with you. There we go. This little sandwich bag worked just right. Keep the mushrooms fresh. Put those back in the fridge. And our butter, we're going to coat the pan. There we go. And help keep it from sticking. And you want to 
spatula with the omelets. A gas stove works real nice for these, but you can do it on electric as well. Part of the thing with the omelet is you're going to be moving it back and forth a little bit to get things nice and evenly coated. And uh, you also want a spatula handy because uh, as it goes, we're going to peel up the edges a little bit. That way we can get the, uh, keep the fresh stuff cooking. I'm go ahead and turn this fan off here. Think we're good with that. And we're just going to peel up from around the edges. And I'm going to kind of pour out the rest of the omelet that's not cooked yet so that it can get to the heat. And we're just going to kind of keep tucking the edges and bringing the stuff around from the omelet like so. To me, what I really don't like is burned eggs, but I don't like raw eggs either. So <laughs> it's kind of finding that happy balance. So we're now just shaking it a little bit. Shaking the pan a little bit. Okay. And what you want it is still a little bit moist inside, and that's when you're going to add your ingredients. Okay. And I'm kind of moving mine off the heat because I'm a little slow. But uh, so we're going to put our ingredients in. Put about a third of my mushroom. Half of it, but that's all right. Okay, and then we're going to add some onions, some green onions, and you can almost use the little green onions on the top as a um, you know a garnish. Make it look nice. Do not need a plate. Okay, I can turn my heat off for the moment. And with the plate, we're just going to fold the mushroom, fold the omelet over, and dump the omelet out. And there's our omelet ready to go. With this, you can take a little bit of the green onion as a little bit of a garnish on the top. And there's our omelet ready to go. Thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance. You know, again, any number of options that you can do to make your omelet how you okay, like for it. For the next couple of omelets, I'm actually going to be adding a little tomato as well. So I got the uh, yellow pear tomatoes from the garden here. Maybe just three of them to each one, something like that. Not a whole lot, just a little tomato flavor. Make it almost like a little salsa here. I think that's going to be enough. I don't want it to be a whole tomato omelet, just a little, a little flavor. And I'll put a tiny salt in the tomatoes just to bring out the flavor kind of right away a little faster because they have their own flavor and uh, that's just how I like it. Okay, I'm going to add a little butter to my pan. And ready to mix up the eggs again. Got the omelet going. Mix up the eggs. Just 
two eggs here. Oops. Had to do it on the wrong side. Oh well. I'll get it later. Add a little salt. Could add some pepper. I'm not going to. Just depends how you like it. I'll spread the butter around. Add the omelet. I'm supposed to mix in a tiny bit of water and do that at the pan and then I'll just mix it in. It helps spread the omelet a little bit. Anyway, we'll make it. It'll work. No big deal. Okay. So again we'll start to peel the edges and then fold the omelet around. Peel the edges a little bit, spread the uncooked portion, uncooked portion around, and then just kind of keep peeling the edges a little. Just like that. Looking good. Again, the same. And if you do this right, the inner part will be a little bit undone in comparison to the outside portion. But um, we'll shake it up a little bit. Looking good. Just want it a little bit, not quite as done on the on the inner portion. When you fold it over, that's gonna the rest of it's gonna come in between. So now we're ready for our ingredients here. Oh, it smells good. Okay, some onions. Green onions, tomatoes. Okay, we're ready to fold it over. What we do not want is for it to burn. So I went ahead and turned off the heat because this one gets ready. To the plate and there we go our omelet is ready just how I like it you know the key part is not being burned on the outside but yet being done yeah, so that looks good to me all right okay so I'm ready for the final omelet and it dawned on me I forgot to put cheese in the other omelet so this one I'll be adding a slice of cheese Again, this is all up to you, you know, custom ingredients for how you like it. Um, you know, any number of ways to get it done. This I'm going to add a little water, about two tablespoons, but it's not critical on the amount of water. I just don't want too much water. So just a little tiny bit. And Add a little salt. Okay, get the heat going. There we go. And now we'll spread the butter. Okay, and here we go. There's our egg. Okay. Okay, so this one I got a piece of cheese ready. We'll be doing a little different. Again, just taking the edges and 
picking up the edges a little bit and then tipping our uncooked egg around and then just dipping those edges back down. Omelets on a Sunday morning should be good. Okay, well, I was a little slow to get to that one, but it should be okay. Again, just scooping the getting the uncooked portion a little bit around cheese. I'm going to split one slice of cheese in half and just kind of add it to each side. There we go. And then we're going to add in some onion. Some tomato. Green onion. And then our mushroom. that off the heat because that's uh, getting past this point. Let's put my plate on the heat. And there we go. Now I'm fold it over, fold it in half, tip the omelet on out, and we're ready. Throw a little green onion on for a garnish, make it look good. Yeah, you, know, you can always put a little sour cream on the top or you know any number of ways to get it done. Uh, but there it is, omelets. Lots of uh, custom ways you can do it. Yep. Thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance. Gotta say, over now. with cheese, yeah, mushrooms, toasted garlic, onions, fresh green onions, tom fresh tomatoes, it's just really, really good. <laughs>